Action! <laughs> This morning we woke up at 4 a.m. Got out to the boats, took off, left the harbor. Yeah, we came out of the harbor and the waves were just a roll, and I mean it was not, probably, nothing too calm out there. Yeah, it was probably about 10 foot rollers. Something a Minnesota boy has never seen before. Yeah, it was definitely a fun experience. As soon as we dropped that first line down, we didn't even get a chance to throw the second one in the water and our, our rod tips were just bouncing already and it's like, whoa! Yeah. First salmon, you know, get it in the boat and we were all high-fiving and everything. Is I think we had I think we had uh, three salmon in the boat before we had all four lines going. Yeah, it was definitely uh, as soon as we got out there, it was just a wham-bam. Then it took a I think it panned off for about a half hour or so, an hour, and then we started slowly getting our limit and it's definitely an experience of a lifetime that I recommend to a lot of people. We're down in, out in Nia. It was a Nia Bay. Yeah. Nia Bay. Nia Bay. Nia Bay. Farthest northwestern point of the United States. And we're out here. Got to see some sea lions today for the first time. You know, after we got our limit of salmon, we uh, reeled up the lines and we went into some rocks, some real heavy rocks where the water was just crashing all different directions, big waves coming through. I was like, I kind of looked at our, our driver of our boat and I was like, we really going in here? And he's like, oh yeah, we're gonna, that's where we're fishing, fishing for bottom fish. We're gonna go get some link cod and some sea bass and pulls in between these two rocks. There's a couple hard yards in between them. And these big rollers are coming in, just splashing, you know? And uh, we threw our lines out and took a, couple sea bass and then finally we got a big link cod that was pretty cool to see you know they got some big teeth that you don't want to stick your hand in their mouth definitely not lip them you know they cut you up pretty good oh link cod oh link cod baby link cod Amazon. No, it's Link. It is Look a Link. Link. That's a keeper. Right through the mouth, Joe. Yeah, bring them over here. Through the mouth. Bring his head up. They're beautiful. Nice. That's a Link, baby. Sweet. <laughs> One thing that's cool to me is you go between the two rocks, you know, you're kind of by shore and everything, and and uh, you know the boat's sitting there, and there's a you got the waves crashing here, and then you got the underwater current, so it's pretty much just keeping you in one spot. Yeah. You just sit there and jig, bounce that lure off the bottom, and then you just pull them up. Yeah, that's, for a little while the schools come through, and there's some fast action, you know, it's a real deal, but that was fun, a lot of fun. Cool experience for a Minnesota boy. Yeah. Definitely ain't no walleye catching out here. <laughs>
Nice <laughs> 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 job. Just gonna show you a little bit what we're using here. We're using these black and white darts. He's got a um, a green one on back there, but we're gonna go all a couple different colors and see what works the best. We're gonna jig off the bottom. We're gonna drop to the bottom, reel up about three three cranks, and then uh, fish it for sea bass and ling cod. See what we can do. What would you call it? Just a bullet head, Mr. Twister? It's supposed to be really good for a wing cod. I don't know what the weight is on it, but it's pretty good. Give it a shot. See what happens. Looks like the white plug's been working, working more on the other side of the boat, so we're gonna switch up a little bit. Try this new one. Yep. 